Hi everyone, Jay Reynolds for In the Sky. And I'm Gail Franco. Well, it's time to buy the comet Neowise with this cutie here. Oh, we are gonna miss it. Best comet in 20 years. We sure are. Neowise looped around the sun a couple months ago and then it passed the Earth and it became more difficult to see even with a telescope. And the reason for that is because the further away it gets from the sun, it starts to cool off and it doesn't produce the dust tail that we normally see. And this is a great example. If you look at this composite photo by Dennis Pimana from Borrego Springs, Thank you, Dennis. Really a good picture there. It really and um, I think we really had fun with this one and lucked out with a lot of clear nights. No question so let's, about it. Yeah, let's take a look back now at Comet Neowise. Comet Neowise, of course, we'll start off with our regular contributor, Alex Dutt, with his photograph here taken locally of the comet earlier on here. We can't forget Frank Shoemaker out in Lorain County with the lighthouse here. Thanks again, Frank, for your contribution. This picture with Michael Jaeger, you can see the ion tail, the blue, but you can also see the green around the center, the, the nucleus. You could actually see that color in the telescope about a week and a half ago. And just as Gail has said in the past, the ion tail, the blue one, uh, points directly away from the sun as opposed to the dust tra uh, tail is um, uh, much heavier and does not point away as well. And I just chose these photos here because just their exquisite uh, com composure here, beautiful. And lastly, we see <laughs> a great Volkswagen with it. And one of my personal favorites here is holding the comet. It holds a lot of knowledge and we learn so much about it by studying it. And lastly, we say goodbye with our friendly dinosaur. A cute picture indeed, but it's definitely the best comet in over 20 years. So thanks for watching.